I can't be nuzzled or anything, so that's really nice. Yep, that's a two shot. Well, three shot, who cares? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2022 rental team video. Or 2023, actually. Oh my god. Look, I did 2022 for a whole year. It's messing with me. Anyways, today uh, I'm going to be breaking down the Iron Thorns team I made a rental code for. Uh, unfortunately, Series 2 is not out yet, but this is a Series 2 team because I am practicing for, you know, regionals, so I, I'm just not interested in playing Series 1 right now. Uh, but yeah, that ladder will be up in, what is it, 8 days? So, or maybe like 10 days, something like that. I forgot what day it comes up, but yeah. Uh, if you guys want to use this team once that goes up, or if you guys want to play some online battles with your friends and practice for Series 2, this is the team for you. But if you guys enjoy this, then I play in time. Do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's our comic question of the day, which is, how would you use Iron Thorns? Anyways, let's get into it. So, the rental code's on screen right now, but we're going to switch over to Showdown so I can do a breakdown. So, uh, a lot of people, when I was using this initially, said, Marcos, why aren't you using Terra Bug? It resists ground, and you get stab on your pin missile. Well, honestly, with Swords Dance Iron Thorns and a guaranteed four hits off of a move that does, like, 25... What was it? 25 base power, like it's a 100 base power bug move... Um, I don't think it's necessary to run Terra Bug when you have the benefits of Terra Grass, uh, which are, one, an immunity to Spore from opposing Amoongus or Toad Scroll or whatever, uh, which Iron Thorns doesn't appreciate because it does struggle to KO those things, and an immunity to Rage Powder, which is obviously, you know, something that you see on Pokemon like Volcarona or whatever, or Amoongus. So, I prefer Terra Grass. It's easier to take on ground types. Um, defensively, you resist, like, water moves. Uh, so that's, that's super nice. So I prefer that. But yeah, uh, the moveset is Adamant, 132 HP, 252 attack, 4 defense, 4 special defense, and 116 speed. That 116 speed makes it so under Tailwind will be outspeeding Pokemon about as fast as Dragapult. Uh, the 132 HP with 4 defense and 4 special defense was just me throwing whatever was left after I maxed out my attack, so it's just a bulky little dude. Uh, not meant to live anything in particular, but it's a bulky guy. 100 HP, 110 defense, 84 special defense, you're living hits, you know? We have Swords Dance, Pin Missile, Rock Blast, and Thunder Punch. Uh, I was considering going Wild Charge, but uh, I ended up not going for Wild Charge exclusively because the recoil damage makes it a bit hard to justify the Swords Dance setup, and I find myself picking up around the same KOs. Also, the Paralysis Chance is pretty nice, so yeah, you could do Wild Charge if you really want to. I just opted for Thunder Punch um, because I just found it to be uh, a little bit more consistent because when I was running Wild Charge on the initial version of this, uh, what ended up happening was... I would um, set up, go down to like 10% HP, and then wild charge one thing and go down. So Thunder Punch at the very least gives you the chance to do that uh, a few more times. Rock Blast is our main rock stab. It's really nice for Focus Sash Mons like Mouse Hold or... Um, What's it called? Uh, Iron Bundle. We're able to pick up a KO on Iron Bundle pretty easily. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, it's just like a good rock move. Uh, rock Slide is an alternative, but if you're running Loaded Dice, you know, might as well go Rock Blast. And finally, we have Pin Missile, which will help us take on Grass types, Psychic types, whatever. Uh, it's a very nice move. Yep, uh, we have Roaring Moon, Terra Flying, Standard Set, Max Speed, Max Attack, Throat Chop, Acrobatics, Tailwind, Booster Energy. The usual, you know, it's it's a very standard uh, Roaring Moon. But that Tailwind will help us out with Iron Thorns, as well as our Sylveon, which is actually calc to outspeed Meowskarada under Tailwind, while still being fairly slow. We have Covert Cloak Arcanine, which is actually really heat in my opinion. This helps out with the Iron Hands matchup, because on lead versus Iron Hands, not only do they get intimidated, but they can't prevent a burn without switching. So effectively, you just neutralize Iron Hands if they're ever on the field with the Arcanine. Uh, obviously, Rage Powder is a way to beat it, but then they have to take a Heat Wave. But yeah, we're running 244 HP, 180 Defense, 76 uh, Speed, and 4 Special Attack, 4 Special Defense. Don't ask me what this does, I forgot. Uh, as far as speed, though, we're outspeeding, um, we're outspeeding Golden Go, and I, I'm pretty sure I can, like, no, I remember, this is, like, the spread I went with, because I was like, okay, I just, I just want to max up the physical defense. I forget what it was, I remember I was messing around with the spread in the team builder for a really long time, but I just opted for just a standard bulky guy, but yeah, uh, Snarl's really good versus opposing Golden Go. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is just a really nice, uh, attack for some physical attackers, and Heat Wave is really good stab. Uh, for taking on, obviously, Golden Go, and also Iron Hands, because Iron Hands is so physically defensive. Uh, Heat Wave having not only the chance to burn, but also dealing uh, pretty consistent damage versus it is super nice, but yeah. We have the Mentalur Mimikyu for our Trick Room Setter. 
Uh, we're running max HP, max attack, four defense with play rough, trick room, will wisp and curse. So the reason we run curse on this guy is literally just so we can beat things like Garganical and Dondozo consistently. Uh, Mimikyu is going to be able to curse those guys uh, if they're on the field and then they take a quarter of their health each turn, making it much easier to wear those things down. So yeah. Uh, and also, we're running Terra Fairy instead of Terra Ghost because uh, we actually don't have any ghost moves on this thing. We don't have Shadow Sneaks, so the only Terra type I felt was um, appropriate for this thing was either going to be Grass or Fairy. However, keep in mind that if you end up Terra Fairying, you're not going to be able to curse uh, effectively because you're just going to get the attack drop or the attack boost and, the, and, you know, speed drop and defense boost. I mean, it might be worth it for Mimikyu if you, like, end up in that situation that you want to curse up, but in my opinion you're almost never going to tear this thing. We have Throat Spray Sylveon, just a bulky but fast spread, 132 speed. We can operate either under Trick Room or under Tailwind. We're outspeeding Meowskarada. Uh, obviously, it's bulky enough to eat a hit from a lot of Pokemon. Versus um, versus Iron Bundle matchups, I found this to be especially useful, just because it's able to like Tailwind up and eat a hit and then like, you know, hit it with a Hyper Voice. And while the... Um, the Iron Bundle will still outspeed us uh, under the Tailwind. Uh, if they're not Focus Sash, they just go down. So that's really nice. And we just had my like standard Rocky Helm and Amoongus. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into the battles. Obviously, Series 2 Ladder isn't up yet. And I am cutting it really close with getting this up on time. It's probably going to go up like a half hour late, maybe an hour late. So I'm just going to do one battle with a team that might be Series 1 or Series 2, just to showcase how the team functions. But if you do want to see some Series 2 battles with this team, I do have a ton of videos up on YouTube with it already. Just check those out. Uh, but yeah, let's just get a battle in for today's video. And also, I want to say, if you guys want to uh, see what team I'm going to use this week, basically like on Sundays, which is today, I actually upload the team builder for the Patreons for the um, whatever the rental code will be for the next week, you know, so... If you haven't noticed, oh, this is the wrong ladder. If you haven't noticed, what I do is I like basically build the team, use it online, and then drop all the details at the end of the week in this video. Uh, Patreons, YouTube channel members, or uh, Twitch subscribers actually have access to the team building process itself, effectively getting them the team early. So yeah, if you guys want that bonus video, check out the, you know, there's a join button down below. You can go to my Twitch, subscribe there, or you can just check out the Patreon. Any one of those does it. Uh, keep in mind that Patreon is uh, the $5 tier for the early videos each week. Uh, and let's see if this person, that's a really interesting name. Let's see if this person's playing like any kind of format. No, we're going to go to the next person. So I will pause the recording until we find an opponent. Okay, this person's playing Series 1, but like I said, like we're just going to get whoever we can get. Uh, let's see what we can do with this team. So yeah, uh, we see Quaquaval, we see... It looks like it's just like rain with Quaquaval on it, which is actually really cool the more I think about it. But uh, Amoongus looks like it's going to be our best friend in this game. I'm just going to lead off with Amoongus and Roaring Moon. And we'll bring Iron Thorns in the back. And I'm thinking either Sylveon or Arcanine. Uh, both are quite good, but I think I get the most value out of Arcanine here. But yeah, uh, I think that if they end up leading off with Mousehold, I basically just Rage Powder and like Tailwind and I'm like set. But yeah, uh, I'm going to, I don't know what I want to team build around today for the next team. Uh, you guys will obviously know by like tomorrow probably, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. This dude posed up with the golden go. Okay, so we see Quaquaval and Raichu. I'm really under no threat here. I just Rage Powder and I Terra Flying Acrobatics. Yeah. Uh, I could also Tailwind right now, but I think I get the most out of just Terra Flying Acrobatics into the Quaquaval. Because I the only the only uh, variants I've seen of this thing are like Terra Water. And then next turn, I'm going to Rage Powder Tailwind. Well, if I KO this Quackle Ball, that is. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get rid of this thing. There's no chance it lives this. Oh, okay. I guess that's the way it lives it. 
Uh, but if they close combat, I'm fine. I just Rage Powder and Tailwind this next turn. Yeah, I resist that now. Awesome. That still did a chunk. Whoa. Alright. Uh, obviously, Rage Powder Tailwind's optimal here. Unless they're like Safety Goggles, Raichu, this should be fine. And we saw that the Focus Sash was actually on the uh, Quackle Ball. So next turn, I think what I want to do is just... Throat chop the Raichu and get in the um get in my my iron thorns for the best outcome. A bolt switch, that's fine. What's it gonna be? They kind of have a really rough time with this uh, Amoongus. Jerry. Is that going to be the mouse hold? Oh, yeah. No, I'm just gaming here, actually. Uh, let's Rage Powder here and get in my, my Iron Thorns because I should just be able to... Unless they're like safety goggles, like this is fine. Uh, because I'm going to Rage Powder away the hit from the Quaqua Vault. And then I can Swords Dance up with Iron Thorns. And if they go for Pop Bomb, it just ends up going into the Amoongus and they KO themselves. I suppose Protective Pads get a, gets around that, but then I just like Rock Blast it, you know? What if they Terra Grass on their Quaqua Ball? That would make sense. That's like a decent Terra for it. Follow me? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Reversal? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Jeez. <laughs> I didn't think it'd do that much. All right. I'm assuming the uh, the Raichu comes out here and just fakes out. That's Pelipper. Okay. Uh, Pelipper is obviously in range of Thunder Punch unless they want a Terra here. Uh, but I think my play is just going to be to Rage Powder. And I'm going to Swords Dance here. I think... I, it's a little greedy, but yeah, I think I'm good. They have to be like Safety Goggles Hydro Pump to KO me. And even then, Hydro Pump's inaccurate. One would imagine they'd go for this anyways. Alright, uh, let's get in Roaring Moon here. And yeah, I'm not terribly afraid of this uh, Pelipper, because I think I just want to... They should fake out Roaring Moon, in my opinion. I'm going to Protect. And go for the Rock Blast into this... Uh, into this Pelipper. I also outspeed it, so yeah, I think the I think they have to fake out the Roaring Moon. I think that's like their obvious play. They could fake out the the Tyranitar or the uh, the Iron Thorns, but it's a little risky. Nope, they got the fake out the Iron Thorns. Are they carrying a Water move? They don't always do. Hurricane. Okay, sweet. So this next turn, I'm free just to uh, Tailwind again and go for a Rock Blast into the Pelipper, and they shouldn't really have an out for that. I guess I could miss. <laughs> I guess I could... I, no, yeah, I can't I can't go for Thunder Punch, so yeah. Uh, I Tailwind up here, and then I go for the Rock Blast. And it looks like they didn't Terra. I can't be Nuzzled or anything, so that's really nice. Yep, that's a two-shot. Well, three shot, who cares? Let's see if like Thunderbolt KOs me. Encore? Okay, I'm cool with doing that again. I can live with that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll do that again.
All right, there's no shot. Jerry lives this hit. So let's just go ahead and go for like the throat shot or acrobatics is my strongest move. Acrobatics and uh, I'll rock blast. Yeah, we'll just double this thing. I don't think it's going to protect. If anything, it follow me. And I can't be nuzzled by the Raichu. So I yeah, no, that's a win. Awesome. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, yeah, I, like I said, it, apologies for like a shorter video today. I, I'm only, I only really have time to showcase it once and I don't, I don't want to search for a Series 2 battle for that long. But yeah, I think you get the gist of how the team works, obviously. You know, it's a Tailwind, uh, Iron Thorns team. We do our best to make sure we get a free setup with like Amoongus and stuff. But yeah, if you guys want to see the team in action with like actual Series 2 battles, I have a lot of really good ones on my channel already that you can check out. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and build the next team, which is going to be available for Patreons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. So check that out if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.